Hey everyone, it's Susan Jones and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you know, this week I am trying to do a Learn at Home with Mrs. Jones. So welcome if you are a student or a parent. I am excited to do this with you. And today we are actually going to start writing a piece, a personal narrative. Now your child might already know this, so go ahead and ask them first. Ask them if they know what a personal narrative is. If they don't, a personal narrative is just a story about ourselves. Narrative means story, personal means about ourselves, so personal narrative. Today we're going to start by brainstorming an idea for our personal narrative, and we're actually going to draw out the pictures in steps. Then throughout the week, we're gonna expand on our personal narrative, we're gonna make it a little bit longer, and at the end of the week, you will have your own published story to share with your parents, with your siblings, or you can share it with me. So let's get started. All you'll need for this lesson is a pencil, and we're gonna use two different sheets of paper. First, there's going to be a circle map, which both of them, for your parents if you're watching, if your parents have access to this, if they go into the description, which is below this video, they can go ahead and print out a circle map and a say and sketch sheet. If you don't have access to a printer, that's totally fine. Just grab a piece of paper and your parents, or you, can draw both of those sheets. The first sheet is going to look like this. It's just two circles, a small circle in the middle and a big circle on the outside. That is our circle map and that's what we're going to use first. Okay, so to think of our personal narrative, what I want you to do is I want you to think of some of the things you've done over the past few weeks. Now, if you went on a big vacation in the past couple weeks, that might be something you wanna write about, but most of us are going to write about something small, something that we did just on a regular day. So let me think, hmm, actually this morning I went to the grocery store, which sounds kind of boring, but you know what? There were a lot of people at the grocery store this morning and we couldn't find toilet paper or paper towels anywhere. That's kind of interesting. Maybe I wanna write about that. Let me think, hmm, what did I do yesterday? I'm gonna take a walk through my day yesterday. So listen to me as I think about some of the things I did and I might find something to write a story about. So first, when I woke up yesterday morning, I got the boys breakfast. I have two little boys, Theo and Calvin. Theo is five and Calvin is three. So let's see, I got them breakfast. Then we kind of watched some cartoons and read stories. After that, oh, you know what we did after that? We went for a walk in the woods right behind our house. And it was our first time exploring those woods. I think I'm gonna write about that. So I've narrowed down what I wanna write about. I'm going to go ahead and write it in the circle here. If you can't write the whole thing down, you can just draw a picture. So my topic, my story is going to be about walking in the woods. Now that is not my best handwriting, that's A-OK. -okay. Don't worry about it. Write what your topic is in the middle. So pause the video right here, think about some of the things you've done over the past couple days, and pick one thing you want to write about and put it in that circle. When you're done with that, press play and we'll continue. Okay, so next, what is going to go on the outside of the circle? On the outside of the circle, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna to try to really focus in on my time walking in the woods. And I'm gonna ask myself some questions. So listen to the questions I ask, and you're gonna ask yourself the same questions. Hmm, who was there when I was walking in the woods? It was me, Parker, my husband, Theo, and Calvin. That's who was there. Uh, what did it look like? Ooh, there were really big, big, big tall trees. Big trees. What else? It was cold. What was the weather like? If you were inside, you can talk about what it looked like inside. I was outside and it was really chilly and a little windy. So windy, cold. Um, did anything exciting happen when I was there? Let's see, oh, I remember. The boys actually found this big tree that had fallen down and they walked on it like a balance beam, which was fun. So I'm gonna draw a big log 
and I'm gonna write balance beam. Let's see, how did I feel during that time? I felt, everyone was actually really happy. It was everybody's first time walking in the woods behind our house. We were exploring. So you know what, I'm gonna draw a big circle and a big smiley face up here because all four of us were feeling pretty happy. Anything else I can think about? Hmm. Those are some good details, so I'm gonna stop there. Go ahead and pause this video, and on the outside of your circle, I want you to ask yourself some of these same questions. Who was with you when this happened? What exactly were you doing? When did you do this? Oh, I didn't write that down. I went in the morning, and you know what? I also remember that it was actually really sunny out. It was windy and cold, but the sun was shining. And I went in the morning. And where were you? Think about those question words. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. See if you can add any details in pictures or in words on the outside of your circle. Go ahead and pause this video and complete that. And when you come back, you'll see what we're going to do next. All right, everybody, welcome back. And here we're going on to our next step, which is called say and sketch. So right now you already have your idea, which is in the middle of your circle map. Then you brainstormed all sorts of little details on the outside of your circle map. Now what I want you to do is we're actually going to do something called say and sketch. So now if your parents were able to, you should have a sheet of paper that looks like this. It has three rectangular boxes and it has the words first, next, and last on it. It might not look exactly like this one on the board, but it's very similar. And if your parents weren't able to draw that for you, all they need is a blank piece of paper and you can draw three big rectangular boxes. Now to do say and sketch, we are going to practice telling our story in order. So think about those details that you brought up and let's just practice saying and sketching our story in order. Let me think, I am writing about the walk I took in the woods yesterday, so first, I remember that I said it was cold and it was sunny. So the first thing we did is my family, we actually got dressed up so we had to put our coats and our boots on because we were going outside in the cold. So that's what we did first. Now I'm not writing yet, I'm saying, so I just told you, and now I'm going to sketch in that box what I said. So let me draw one, two, three, four. These are my boys. They're a little shorter than, you know, Mrs. Jones and Mr. Jones. And now this is important because part of saying and sketching, you don't need to be the best illustrator in the world. I'm just drawing stick people right now. If you want to, you can do that too. Throughout the week, we're going to make our illustrations a little bit better each and every day. But if you are a really good artist, go ahead and take your time and draw a wonderful picture. So here we are. You know what we needed? Big puffy coats big coats, we needed hats, and mittens. I live up here in Massachusetts, and like I said, it was pretty cold. So first, my family put on their hats and their coats and their mittens. Next, we went outside and we walked to the woods. So, I'm gonna draw my house over here. This is where we were. And then we actually walked, I'm going to draw an arrow, to the woods. And if you remember in that circle map, we have really, really big, tall trees. So I went ahead, and this is going to help me retell what my story is. So first, me and my family put on our coats, our hats, and our gloves. Next, we went outside our house and we walked to the woods. Last, while we were there, we were walking in the woods, I remember I told you in that circle map that my boys found this really cool log that they walked on like a balance beam. So I'm gonna draw that part. This is my big log. It had a hole here, and it had some branches off of it. And here are my two boys walking. Let me add their hats. And here they are walking on the log. So after you watch me do this, I want you to go ahead and pause this video and I want you to practice saying and sketching. And I want you to do it with each step like I did. 
I want you to say out loud to someone, either a parent that's with you, an adult, a sibling, or like I said, if you don't have anyone, you can always talk right back to me. Just pause my video like this. I'm there smiling and listening to you, okay? So you will say first and tell the first part of your story out loud and then draw exactly what you said to the best of your ability. Say next, tell me about the next part and then go ahead and draw it. And then the last, tell me the last thing that happened and go ahead and draw it. When you are done with your say and sketch sheet, I want you to keep that in your circle map in a pile and I will see you tomorrow where we're going to take these sketches and spread them out to make an even longer story. So there you go. We have just started writing our personal narratives and I am excited to see what types of stories you guys are going to publish by the end of the week. So make sure you like this video and go ahead and subscribe to this channel or have your parents subscribe so that way they can see when I upload tomorrow's writing video as well. And if you don't already know this, I have a playlist. This is for parents if they know how to use YouTube. They have a playlist that says learn at home with Mrs. Jones because I'm also sharing both reading and math activities all week long. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.